Hello everybody, hello. My name's Ella Day and this is The Alert Show. When I say bouye, you say e bouye, e. Bonjour à tout le monde, bienvenue sur ma chaîne et je m'appelle Elodie et quand je dis bouye, vous dites e bouye, e. Alors, bienvenue tout le monde. Um, what can I say? If you're new to this channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and um, comment, like and share and um, I'll do my best to upload um, every now and then. I do try to upload at least uh, videos once a week. Sometimes if I've got a spare time, um, I could definitely um, upload one or two. You know, I am a working mum, so it's kind of hard to fit everything in, but I'm doing my best. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so today we're going to be having a look at um, what is a quite sensitive subject. Um, it's in relation to love in an African home or let's say in an African house. Yeah, that, that would be just about okay. So um, stay tuned and uh, keep up to date with me. <music> Now, um, obviously, um, I'm going to be talking about love from my end and I'm not talking about everybody else because it's going to be really difficult to um, measure everybody's love um, because everybody expresses their love in a different way. Um, so I won't be applying the sort of love that I express in my home or um, the way I was expressed love growing up um, to be in the fact where everybody else's love were meant to be the same. Um, so everybody's love in which they had growing up will not be the same as mine or as anybody else's. Does that make sense? So um, in expression of how I have been exposed to love, um, I grew up in a home where um, my parents um, showed us how to express love, you know, and expressing love is something that um, I do feel like some black people in the African community do find it very difficult to express how they feel to one another. And I feel like that is a big barrier. Um, I have encountered certain people like that and I do have certain people like that as friends or as family members and it is really hard. Myself, I am a very loving person. I've got no issues expressing the way I feel. Sometimes I would just pick up my phone and just ring a friend or a family member and I just say, hey, how are you? I just wanted to say I love you or how are you doing? You know, things like that, just to express your emotions and that. Um, but like I said, um, everybody else is different. People express their love differently. Uh, maybe they buy you things or um, material things and that. Um, but from the way I grew up anyway um, at home, um, I remember my mother always um, showing us how to love one another, how to treat one another. If I was to, I remember one time I burnt my hand, for example, and my sister ran up to me and she was like, are you all right? Are you okay? You know, she was so affectionate, you know. And I feel like sometimes, you know, especially sometimes in broken homes, people don't really know how to show love or how to be affectionate. Um, I know I'm talking to someone out there and definitely someone can correlate with me. Um, but other than that, in some other homes, some other broken homes anyway, um, they are actually thought how to express their love. And there I come into um, a conversation where I can say, um, this is where we come and say, as women, when we have sons, um, it's so important that we show and teach our sons how to love, how to be affectionate, how to be emotional, and how to control themselves. Because not only will they be able to treat their sisters well and love their sisters and love other women that they may encounter in the future, it's so essential um, in the community as well. So I don't have a son um, per se, 
Um, but when I do, I've literally said to myself, I will put myself in a, in a situation where I will be able to teach my son how to love his sisters, um, how to love one another anyway, his sisters and brothers, and how to be affectionate and um, be emotionally stable as well, and how to show love to his partner. Because I feel like most men okay don't know how to show love to their women and sometimes we women don't understand why especially for example if you're dating an african man and most african men from what i know do not know how to express love if you're looking for an african man to express love to you my dear sister um <laughs> Oh, you got the way though. <laughs> because they don't really show love in that manner. I <laughs> let me not just go too deep, okay? From what we know, okay, most African men, what they'll do is they, as long as they provide for you, um, they provide for the home, provide for the kids, that is enough love. They haven't got time to come tell you, oh, babe, where I don't miss you, where come, how no, how was your day, kiss, Mwah. that kind of thing. It doesn't happen. Now, I'd like to say about 70%, it doesn't happen. In the days of our um, forefathers, let's say my um, grandfather's father's father's father, <laughs> maybe like 1800s, that was not even going to happen. The man was going out to chase money, coming back home, providing for the kids. That was it. There was no sort of like love, you know, and you're not going to find that. Okay. Um, so that speaks for itself. Let's be honest about one thing right now is um, a lot of us, <laughs> you know, don't know how to express love. A lot of us don't know how to be compassionate. Um, and I feel like it's so important that, you know, we try to um, apply this into our lives um, for better days. Yeah, better days. Absolutely. Um, like it says in the Bible, um, I try to bring the Bible in every <laughs> show but the bible says love conquereth all and trust me love does you know you can be in a situation where you're going through something but because of love the love that you guys share you will conquer it whatever problems that you have you will conquer it but where there is no love whatever it is that you do it will not work even if it is just one person showing the love it will not work because there is not love. There isn't enough love on both sides. So where there is love, love will conquer everything. You know, um, so I put that in the perspective of a relation, uh, relationship, but that can also work in a family. Just as we can say, um, there's a parable. We say, um, united we stand, um, but divided we fall. So obviously you're going to be um, united in a family with love, but if you're divided, you know, unfortunately things aren't going to work. So yeah, I can try and correlate it like that. I hope I'm not going off topic. <laughs> so yeah, um, coming into my um, family, um, my mum would always tell us how to show love, how to be affectionate, how to um, express um our emotions to one another and which i felt like that was so important because um growing up in that way it helped me to grow in a lovely manner and when i say lovely manner manner excuse me i mean um in a manner where i could express my love you know people who know me i'm not going to um blow my trumpet i'm such a loving person um <laughs> the things i do is a bit extraordinary um but it's just because it comes from the heart and it's the way um, my parents obviously um, uh, thought me um, and my sisters and brothers how to express our love. Um, but I, I obviously know uh, people go through a lot of struggles in life and, you know, especially in homes where, for example, if your mother and dad or your parents are obviously um, back home, they would beat you if you did something like, let's say, if you broke a plate or a glass or you did something wrong and they would hit you, you know, um, you sort of like have that resentment in love thinking that they don't love you, but they obviously have a different way in showing their love. 
you know what I mean? And um, I have had certain friends who would tell me their mum or dad never told them how much they loved them. So even right now, even though they're in a relationship, they find it really difficult to express their love to their partners. And for me, I find that very absurd because if you're in a relationship and you can't express your love to your partner, I feel like personally, if that was me, I would feel like I wasn't loved because to be honest, uh, materials don't represent love always. OK, I know everybody else has a different way to express love, but material things don't express love always. Um expressions emotions and communication is so is essential and love is something that you want to be affectionate love has to be felt you know love is something that it's naturally felt you know and it's not forced okay and um when you love someone you can do things for that person um Nobody needs to tell you what needs to be done for that person, you know, <laughs> or celebrating birthdays. That's another one. That's another topic. Like my parents celebrated my birthday since I was one. I am still celebrating my birthday and I've got friends who don't celebrate their birthdays. And when I asked them why, they said it's the way I was brought up. My mother never celebrated my birthday. My dad never celebrated it. I have another friend who said to me <laughs> one day it was my birthday. I said to my mom, my mina, my bedeo, ah, you know, the next thing he knew, his mom gave him a big slap. Like when he told me that story, I was like, oh my gosh, I felt it. We talk about it all the time. So he doesn't celebrate his birthday, but every now and then I would call him to say, hey, happy birthday. How are you? You know, I show that love, you know, I show that love, you know, with friends, you know, but I do obviously celebrate my birthday all the time. So it's in me, you know, so those are the sort of things that, you know, um, it depends how you were brought up, you know, how you were taught how to express yourself, be passionate or celebrate your birthdays and stuff like that. So if you don't celebrate your birthday, um, obviously you're not going to celebrate somebody else's birthday, isn't it? So it's, it's hard to be reciprocal, you know, it's going to be really hard to be reciprocal. Um, also in relation to love, so it's going to be hard to show this sort of love, you know, that the other person is showing to you. So, yeah. So um, what I can really say is um, if there's anyone out there who's listening to me right now, um, love is such an important thing in life. Uh, there are other things that are important, but to be honest with you, sometimes when you just have even one person that loves you, you feel okay, you feel fine, you know, because you know no matter what, we all have our mothers, okay? I know our mothers are always going to love us, but... You know, there, there, there is always external love, your children as well. They love you. You know, you have to be able to express your love to your kids. I'm always telling my kids how, how much I love them. <laughs> I remember saying to my daughter and I says, Lydia, I love you. And she says, oh, mom, stop it. You know, I love you too. But then I tried to give her a hug and a kiss. She's like, mm, mom, stop it. You know, she don't mind me doing it at home. But when we go out, she's a bit shy, you know, but you have to show that love because then she knows how to, you know, express herself in the future when she's like settled down and of age. So it's so crucial. So love is really, really um, simple, but um, it depends your background, um, when it comes to love, when I say background, your upbringing, um, how you were brought up. Um, and also saying this, um, in African homes as well, um, taking accountability of um, certain things that you've done, <laughs> certain things that you've done and apologising for it is difficult, trust me. I've been in that situation where a certain person or, you know, in the family or a friend would do something and even if it was non-intentionally they would not you know um take it up and say you know what i did this i'm sorry you know or say yes it was me um i'm so sorry taking accountability it doesn't happen it doesn't it's just like you know that they, they know they've done it but they just you know, stay quiet and we know that they've done it, but obviously they, we can tell by their actions that they're not going to do it again, 
you know, so taking accountability as well, you know, is something that um, in some African homes, um, we don't, well, in some African homes, um, it's not actually happening. You know, it doesn't really happen in, 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 in the African homes. And in the situation where you're not taking accountability for what you've done to somebody, for example, if you've hurt someone's feelings, you've hurt your partner's feelings, you've hurt your wife or your, your husband, your sister, your mother, your brother, or your, your, your dad, and you've not, you know, put yourself in a situation where you're like, you know what, I'm so sorry I did this, you know. It's difficult, it's really, really difficult because there in the future, you know, when you do harm to someone, you will be in a position where you can't even say to the other person, I'm sorry. And they will take it to heart, thinking that you meant it when you did it. Whereas it was your upbringing, you didn't really know how to express yourself, you know. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning into the alert show. This is it now. I'm going to call this a day. Let's call it a wrap. This is going to be just part one. I'm going to be doing a part two. I don't want this to be too long. So stay tuned to the alert show. Make sure you subscribe. And if you've got any comments or questions, um, drop it down below and I'll do my best to um, be at your service. Once again, it is your girl LOD and you're watching the alert show. When I say bouye, you say e. Bouye, e. Alors, merci tout le monde et à la prochaine fois. Bisous.